Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And please feel free to write to me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding to this video or any other videos that I have posted in the past. Uh, if you have any videos that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, my friend Brad was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Uh, his doctor told him that he needed to change his diet, even though uh, he is being put on metformin. But the most important thing his doctor said, he need to uh, reduce or eliminate the consumption of fast and ultra-processed food from his diet. And the most important thing is that he need to eliminate sugar uptake as much as possible. So he decided that he's going to adopt my fast cooking system because this cooking system will allow him to eat more vegetables. Now he never really liked vegetables, so this is going to be quite a challenge for him. Now the fast cooking system has four components that is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and templates based cooking. A stir frying is the primary uh, cooking technique for the cooking system. The reason is that stir frying is very fast. Uh, he can put a meal together all from scratch using fresh ingredients in less than uh, 20 to 30 minutes. And that fits him very well uh, because he normally eats fast and object processed food. Uh, usually it will take him about uh, 20 to 30 minutes to get the meal. And uh, so this will actually fit very well with his current lifestyle. He does not have change uh, by finding more time uh, to cook each evening. Using this method, in fact, he uh, decided that he will cook every night. Uh, this way, he can eat whatever that he wants and he can create different varieties. Now, stir frying is a great cooking technique. And this is a technique that uh, I choose for the fast cooking system mainly because of its efficiency. Uh, today, many of us have a lifestyle uh, pretty much adapted to uh, the fast and ultra processed food. And when you eat fast ultra processed food, uh, the convenience is the primary attraction for most people. Because with fast and processed food, uh, usually the amount of time that you require to prepare a meal is less than 30 minutes. Uh, this will allow people to uh, eat almost any time uh, they want. Uh, for people who work long hours, they can come home and uh, find something in the refrigerator or freezer and put it in the microwave or oven, um, they will have a meal ready in about 20 to 30 minutes. Or sometimes they can just stop at a fast food place. So most people find cooking used the conventional method is no longer feasible. However, uh, when it comes to fast and processed food, eating vegetables is a challenging task because most fast and processed food contain almost no vegetables at all. However, Brad determined that he is going to increase his vegetable consumption because he wants to eventually uh, return his blood sugar level back to normal so that he can reverse his diabetes. Therefore, he do not have to continue to take the prescriptive medicines. So the goal of the fast cooking system in order for it to work, advanced prepping is a key component of the cooking system. Uh, advanced prepping, the idea is very simple, uh, is to prep all the ingredients so that it will be ready uh, to be used every night when bread enters into the kitchen to cook. If you have the ingredients on hand, since each of the stir-fry dishes only require about uh, less than two, five to six minutes to cook. So basically, he can put a meal together in a very short amount of time. Advanced prepping include not only vegetable, but he can also do advanced prepping of different type of meat. A bread also want to reduce his meat consumption, and the goal is that in such a way that uh, every time when he cook a dish, the meat will be used as a condiment rather than as main ingredients. A bread loves chicken, and because uh, of this arrangement, he still can have chicken as many times as he would like. But instead of eating a whole big piece of chicken breast, now bread can use only a few ounces of chicken. And so it serves as a nice condiment. And when he bread it in this way, he can have chicken anytime he wants. So um, the next step is that to create the flavor of the dish that he likes. Uh, I suggest to bread is to use uh, some basic seasoning agent. And to make it more convenient, I have put together a seasoning mix, which I call it the basic seasoning mix, using the seasoning agents 
that I normally use and in the component that I think it will work best. Uh, furthermore, is that bread start to use a set of uh, sauces. Now, sauces is perfect for stir frying because in stir frying, everything happens so quickly. The sauce is the best way uh, to create the flavor that he wants, and he can experiment with different types of sauces. And the last but not the least of the cooking system is tempeh based cooking. Now, the idea of tempeh based cooking uh, is actually quite simple. Tempeh, in fact, is very similar to a recipe, except a tempeh is the skeleton of a recipe. Once you have a particular dish that you like to cook, for example, uh, you want to do stir fry vegetables, you establish a template of the basic step that you will use in cooking the vegetables. So then you can make substitutions. But the basic cooking technique is very much the same. The only difference is just that you can substitute different vegetables. So one can create a series of templates, a template for stir frying chicken, a template for stir frying shrimp, a template for stir frying egg. And the end result is that each of the templates allow you the opportunity to make substitutions of different food ingredients. Now template works extremely well with stir frying because stir frying is so fast, so you can quickly cook a dish. And because of uh, advanced prepping, you have many ingredients to choose from. Once you start to understand the different property of the ingredients, you can cook them to the desired texture or doneness that you want, and this gives you a lot of flexibility. Last but not the least is flavor chasing. Uh, we all love flavor first before we love food. Flavor is absolutely essential. In fact, flavor is fundamental uh, to make home cooking sustainable. Most people have a hard time to retain their diets. It's because they do not like the flavor of the food that they eat. But with the fast cooking system, and when you combine tempeh based cooking uh, as well as uh, stir frying and advanced prepping, now with different type of uh, flavor that you available to you, uh, you can create many different type of uh, flavor, and you can continue to refine the flavor uh, to the point that how you like it. After Brett adopted my fast cooking system, he was able to continue to vary his dishes using tempeh based cooking, and he's able to continue to improve the flavor of his dish using flavor chasing. And today, uh, he said he has been able to cook over uh, 50 to 60 different dishes. In fact, he hardly ever cooked the same dish twice. And the reason is because of the various aspects of the fast cooking system. And ultimately, he make home cooking fun and enjoyable. Now, furthermore, he's able to use the same cooking system that will allow him to do meal prep. So not only he's cooking for his wife during the regular uh, in the evening, but he also prepare meals so he can eat them for his lunch. The end result is that now he cook everything himself, and in probably about less than a year, his blood sugar returned back to normal and he no longer have to stay on metformin. And his doctor was very pleased and told him that he literally has reversed his diabetes. So if you'd like to learn more about this fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, the goal is that for you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine as, as Brad has done. And through home cooking, Brad was able to reverse his diabetes and make an important transformation in his life. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.